Welcome back to Titans. Today we are talking about mean arterial pressure. What does it mean? How can we find it? And how is it going to better help us be clinicians and uh, take care of our patients well, making sure that our patient is adequately perfusing? So what is MAP? So MAP is the average pressure in the arteries during one cardiac cycle. We know that veins go to the heart and arteries are going away from the heart. So this is specifically where we're looking at the pressure on the arteries being forced on the outgoing side. Now, typically we're using MAP or we're finding MAP and it's using an invasive monitoring techniques, usually in a hospital or uh, specialized equipment. However, just using our NIBP cuff on our monitor or our manual cuff, we can do a quick calculation to identify what our patient's MAP is. It is important that we have an adequate MAP so we are perfusing our brain. Nancy Caroline uh, suggests that uh, post-cardiac arrest care, we're aiming for at least a MAP of 65. So, Let's look at the simple equation. There are a bunch of different equations. I find that this is the simplest to do the math um, very quickly. Also, our monitors may have MAP, uh, an estimate of MAP on them underneath your uh, BP score, but we can do it ourselves and do the math. So uh, this equation is gonna be our systolic pressure plus two times the diastolic pressure divided by three. Super simple. So let's plug it in. So let's start with a BP of 60 over 40. Obviously, first glance, we know that this patient is hypotensive and, poor, and probably uh, perfusing poorly, but let's see what their MAP is. Remember, we're aiming for at least 65. So let's plug it all in. Our systolic is 60. Our diastolic is going to be 40 times two divided by three. So 40 times two we know is 80. So we have 80 plus 60 over three. We're gonna do 140 because we're adding the top, divided by three, and it's gonna give us about a 47 map. Not good, not perfusing appropriately. Maybe this is a patient that we need to give lactated ringers or a saline bolus to, and maybe consider a presser down the road so we're adequately perfusing. Let's do one more. So <clears throat> that was a obviously low blood pressure. Let's say we have a patient with uh, 140 over 70 blood pressure. Let's plug it in and see what our map is. We know our systolic is 140. Our diastolic is 70 times two over three. So we have 140 because we're multiplying plus 140 our systolic over three. That's gonna give us 280 divided by three. Once I divide my 280 by three, I'm gonna get around 93 for my map. So our patient is probably perfusing well. Um, hope this helps. See you on the next one.